What's the connection between Hezbollah in Lebanon, the Houthis in Yemen, Syrian militias, and Hamas in Gaza? All are supported by this one country that is pulling the strings, Iran. Up until 1979, Iran and Israel were actually in good relations. They were the second Muslim country to recognize Israel, holding trade and military relations over the years. But ever since the fall of the Shah, Iran has started an Islamic revolution in order to become a regional empire, with two major enemies, the USA, who they call the big devil, and Israel, the small devil. But the Iranians, not getting full support from other Muslim countries and not wanting direct war with the United States or its allies, thought of a different way to achieve their goals, proxy wars. It's pretty easy. You establish to fund arm and train militias, and there you have it. Israel today is attacked by four different fronts, all instructed by Iran. They are the hidden support behind everything that happened on October 7th, and they didn't even get their hands dirty. To make this work, you have to put political beliefs and values aside and focus on your common interest. Hamas is Sunni, which doesn't get along with the Shia Islam in Iran. But for the cause of destroying Israel, these differences are not an issue. By these proxy wars, Iran has built and nurtured terror organizations that have become powerful armies operating under its control. Iran invested billions of dollars in Hezbollah, arming them with about 150,000 rockets and missiles that are directed towards Israeli civilians. And out of Hamas's annual $700 million budget, about a third is Iranian money. And it doesn't stop there. Iran has built militias in Iraq, Syria, and also in Yemen. The Houthis, who brought their country to a total destruction, are now launching long-range missiles and UAVs at Israel every week. And just to make this point clear how Iran is really the one in control, listen to this. When the Thai government wanted to negotiate releasing their civilians captive in Gaza by Hamas, they spoke to Iran. For Tehran, Hamas is just another pawn in this complex game of chess, the kind that can be sacrificed to achieve a strategic win. They certainly don't care about Gaza or the Palestinians who live there. Right under our noses, Iran has established a network of armed and trained terror organizations, which they fully control, all with the aim of destabilizing the Middle East and spreading the Islamic revolution. They're not gonna stop with Israel. They're aiming for the whole world.